Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Master Orion. So we're getting ready to attack uh, the Human Empire. They only have a few systems to attack. And we're very close, I think, to uh, completing this playthrough of Master Orion. As we wiped out pretty much every other race... And it's really only the humans left. And the minor civilizations, which we can't attack. We tried to attack, but it didn't work. In any case, let's go ahead and move over there and wipe out the last of the pirates. Get our space factory over here and working on a military outpost as soon as I can collect them. There we go. And a military outpost. Okay. And these guys are ready to go in, so we will attack. And I'm going to auto-resolve the combat. Yes, I'm going to declare war. Alright. That was uh, easy enough. The galaxy will be better off without you anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm sure you'll be able to destroy me with your insignificant fleet of what? Two destroyers and a cruiser versus... A lot of ships on my side. We'll see about that. Alright. Let's move along. Got a lot of buildings to work on here. Now these guys have plenty queued up, so I'm not worried about it. Over here. Go ahead and get our pollution processor queued up. Which I am going to actually put ahead. All right, and we've got a lot of pollution processors being made here. Yeah. You guys are good. And over here we're good. All right. Mostly we're waiting to be able to build the Titan-class ship. Whether we'll need it or not, I don't really know. Out of curiosity, what's the fleet strength here? 143 and 8,000. We don't know what the Guardian is because we'd have to get close enough to get a sensor reading on it. We might be able to get that from this uh, fleet here once they close in. All right. Grab this fleet and keep sending it on its way. As I said, I want to see a sensor reading of the uh, Orion system. So we're going to get an idea if that's something we can do in this uh, playthrough. Uh, space elevator completed over here. Uh, not a whole lot queued, though. Might as well get the pollution processor working. Queue that up ahead of time. And then, got a pollution processor finishing over here, and nothing else really being worked on. Alright. So this is the system that we would build the Titan-class ship if it came to that. But for now, we're just going to build money and, or make money, uh, and make it more likely that we could rush by it if we need to. We also have some growth somewhere, like that went into food production. I don't think we need quite that much production. Food. Put some into research, too. There you go. Beat needs orders. These guys. Alright, so... What is it, this fleet? Just a scout. I don't really care about that. Let's just go take their, their home system now. And attack. It's saying it's unfavorable to me to attack this. I find that somewhat surprising. But, you know what? We won't push it. If it's really that risky... Although, I get the feeling that if I commanded this myself, it wouldn't be that hard. You know what? Let's try it. Unless the, the human research tech is a lot higher than I give it credit for. Uh, but I'm going to take command here. And we'll see. If I lose, I think we can bounce back pretty easily. I mean, how many planets do we have not producing anything? Wouldn't be hard to rebuild the fleet. The troop transports would be a little bit more of a bummer, but... Alright, so, 
Group transports are these guys. You guys just kind of hang back there. That battleship sure is big in comparison to the uh, frigates. All right, so you guys... Let's see if we can bait them into attacking us. Probably would have been wise to wait for the rest of the fleet because we're missing out on destroyers here, which would help quite a bit. Matter of fact, we should say match speeds here. So these guys come together. Matter of fact, I'll kind of do that so they close the ships and back kind of close a little bit. We're going to come around to the side. We'll see if we can bait the destroyers and the cruiser into fighting. And then from there, we will uh, kind of back off and, and get them away from the bases. Now, this guy is not going to have, I think, the latest tech of the phasers because uh, that would be the battleship that hasn't yet arrived that has that. We haven't really been upgrading our ships very much. And that might be a mistake in and of itself as well. But if we lose this fleet, I'll just rebuild a new one. Oh, wow, those are a long range. Guess we get in there now. They're going to be firing missiles at us from that kind of range. Okay, here come the cruisers. All right, there goes one destroyer. I do want to kind of back off here. Now that they've engaged, the AI will just attack. All right, there goes the other destroyer. Okay, let's not be stupid. Back off. Let the cruiser come. What did I say about being stupid? Come on. All right, go after him. Goodbye, cruiser. All right, let's go after the missile base. Yeah, so this was a, a fight that we shouldn't have taken, according to the uh, calculation of the the game. Now, I will point out that the game doesn't, like, really judge the strength of fighters and bombers pretty much at all. It just... Like, from what I can tell, if you put fighters and bombers on your on your ships, it's like... It doesn't count as any combat strength at all. But look at this. We're annihilating these guys. And this is why I'm not bothering upgrading my ships, because this was a pretty much a cakewalk. You just had to come in and approach it intelligently. I mean, my battleship alone probably could have taken these guys. I mean, look, they're barely even touching its shields. All right. There go the bombers, I take it. Okay, there we go. Easy victory, although it said we were at a disadvantage. We might have lost a couple frigates. I'm not positive on that. No, we barely took any damage at all. Now, if I'd simulated that, we probably lost most of our fleet, if not all of it. All right, let's attack the colony. We may not win, though, uh, because they have 12 Marines versus R-16. They'll have a defensive advantage. We won't be able to bomb any of them out. But we'll try nonetheless. We might have a tech advantage here. Yeah. Okay, easy victory. Alright, and that's their home system. Now, why it's irradiated, I don't know. I didn't drop any bombs. So I guess it's irradiated regardless of whether you drop bombs on it or not. I didn't drop bombs, but okay. Uh, we'll just do the pollution cleanup because of the radiation that's going on. And we might as well put their... Why do we have 
plus... Oh, okay, so that was just a bug. There we go. So that was easy enough. The humans only have... Uh, two systems that we know about. It's possible they have more. But it shouldn't be too hard to finish off the rest of their empire. Okay. Let's go on to the next turn. This is just a scout, so I don't really care about that. So, I'm just going to push on to the next system. Although, technically, <laughs> there's no point to do that, is there? I guess we just guard here. I don't know if there is a star base here, so I don't know if we'll be able to repair. We could just uh, quick buy one if they don't have one. Let's find out. Well, of course they wouldn't because I blew it up. Okay, so get that out. Put that there. And buy. There we go. That way, what damage I have taken will be repaired. And we can also upgrade our fleet at this system uh, when I get around to doing that. Now, granted, I probably won't have the money by the time that comes around, but that's okay. All right, so let's go on to the next turn. All right, you're asking for me to blow up your scout. Oh, okay. They can't quite get there. And they should be working on the pollution cleanup now. All right. So we got the star base. We know about that. Advanced data center over here. Okay. They've got plenty queued, so I'm happy with that. And we've got a pollution processor over here. And they'll be working on the Astro University. Okay. Okay. Our fleet's on the way. I guess we won't be able to destroy that scout after all, so we'll just queue over there. And move on to the next turn. Alright, I don't know if my battleship will be able to take a single marauder. Oh, uh, it did. Okay. Okay. Research is done. The hive divisors have completed the we now have heavy fighter bays and Titan class ships. Okay, and we're not going to be upgrading that right now. Okay, so now we need a new tech. Is there something that I want to particularly rush? Not really sure. We don't get another ship class until all the way over there. What do we get here? High energy focus. So energy weapon damage. Uh, okay. So you can either absorb the damage. You can increase the damage. Or you can increase ship uh, space and ship space. Okay. I don't know what the second thing there is. Plus true percentage. That might not be a bad thing to do. It would give us more space on our ships to cram more things in. Is there any of these techs that would be nice? Battle station, battleoids, or fast missile racks. Okay. And over here we have torpedoes. All right, I don't really care about any of that stuff. Guess we'll do this one. And we have pollution processor over here. And they're working on other things. And terraforming completed over here. And they've got stuff to work on. All right, good. So probably we're going to be doing some ship designing here soon. Uh, because we might as well upgrade what ships we can. So, I'm going to start off 
we have just frigates and cruisers here. So first, let's start with a hive. Oh, there's also a battleship, so might as well edit this. So we have the phasers and everything like that, but we want the heavy fighter bays rather than uh, the normal fighter bays, I'm assuming. I mean, I don't know what the difference is. All right. So it sounds like they're a hybrid of bombers and fighters. So why don't we get rid of this and just use heavy fighter bays then? We'll put on as many as we can fit, which is six, which is how many we fit of the fighter and bomber bays. It seemed like the bomber bays almost never were deployed from what I could tell. And except for like maybe one instance where that they were deployed. So they seem like kind of junk. All right, so we'll go with that. Done. And then over here for the nest. We're we'll at this. Now this has more heavy modifications, but it's mostly in... Well, we do have some core systems. For instance, the antimatter drive is new. For this ship, anyway. And then we have weapon systems. Which would be getting rid of the old normal fighter bays and putting in better fighter bays. And we want to get rid of the graviton cannons and the antimatter, I mean, sorry, the uh, mass drivers. And we'll put on some phasers. So, first we'll put on normal phasers, which we want all facings. We'll fit. About five sounds good good to me. And then we'll put on some point defense phasers. Point defense all facing. And we might have to go down a little bit on this so we can fit more point defense. There we go. Alright. So not quite as good as our battleship, but uh, pretty darn good nonetheless. And done. Okay, with our fleas, which is our only other ship that we can upgrade right now. Going to edit, and we have a lot to edit here. Yet again, so first we'll start with the core systems, because we need the better engines, which are here. And then we need the weapon systems. Which we want phasers. First the normal ones. Now we've been doing front facing. I'm actually gonna do all facing. And we'll do we'll do three. And then we'll grab point defense phasers. Again, all facings. Put as many on as we can, which looks like five. We've got three and five, and that's pretty much it for these guys. Okay, so we're done. The gnat is the only thing we have left to upgrade, but uh, I'm not going to upgrade it because our gnats are not in a system that they can be upgraded yet. All right, so our can't afford that upgrade. Let's go through here. What can we afford? I don't even know why this didn't pop up, but we'll go ahead and do the upgrade to the uh, Nest 5 here. And we'll save up for the flea upgrades in a bit. So our defensive strength is pretty darn good. And we're going to have to wait a turn to destroy that pirate base. And I really would like a sensor reading on Orion to see what the strength is there. Okay. We also have the, these fleas over here that we can upgrade. And that battleship. Using a little bit older tech, but uh, for the most part it's upgraded. Let's move on to the next turn. Okay. We'll come in here and annihilate... Pirate base. 
Your crew descends to All right, so we got a population point. Fine. Did these guys get a pollution processor? They did not. Grab that and put it up here. Okay. Also have an advanced data center completing over here. Fine. They've got plenty queued up. Moment. And we've got pollution, I mean population over here. Uh... All right, I'll do that. Looks like they need more production going on here. So let's grab a lot of these production buildings. All right, that's pretty much it there. So we'll send the fleet on over here. And considering this fleet's close enough, we'll send our mostly upgraded fleet. Although we might be able to upgrade. Uh, we can't upgrade these guys just yet. Send them in, though, and do some damage. I might actually take command of that just so that we get to see the phasers because uh, the uh, nest did get upgraded. Let's go on to the next turn. I don't know. I don't know what got destroyed there, but all right. We're gonna go blow up this scout. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get a sensor reading on Orion. That's all right. It's not that important. Auto resolve. Get rid of their scout. Battleship is on its way. We'll have it hang out here, just so, uh, as I said, we get that sensor reading I'm looking for. At least I'm hoping we will. And then these guys are going to jump in there and attack. As I said, I'm going to take command here so we can see what the phasers look like. All right. Let's send the nest ahead so we definitely get a look at those phasers. Well, you know what? Uh, I think we just go straight in like this because the phasers are pretty long range. Um, actually, these guys... Hold on. Match speed. Have the frigates back off a little bit. There we go. Now this should be matching speed. The cruiser get in there first. And hopefully we'll see nice fireworks display. There go our fighters. Oh, there's the phasers. Taken out. The missiles. Alright, so they just look like, more or less, just like any other laser weapon. And those would have been heavy fighters we sent out there, which did a fair amount of damage. Alright, outpost is about dead. Alright, good night. All right, I mostly did that just to see what the phasers look like. Didn't look like all that, anything all that special. Mostly just like like uh, a lot of the other energy weapons that we've seen so far, like the lasers that we started the game with. All right, then the turn. Okay, so I'm going to send these guys over to uh, Soul Prime to get upgraded. I'm going to focus probably predominantly on the destroyers. All right, so let's see what we've got as far as buildings. Okay, we've got plenty queued here. Uh, production seems fine. Terraforming is done. We've got stuff queued up. Pollution processor. We uh, put that ahead so that it would get done. Okay, everything looks good there. 
And then we have a space elevator finishing over here, and we've got some things queued up, so I'm happy with that. Now it's time to come over here and smash this fleet. At least, hopefully. This guy's going. This guy is coming over here. Okay. I'm curious what it will say my chances are here. I I don't know what we're fighting because I can't uh, select them, but we'll attack nonetheless. It says good because they have only a frigate and then a star base. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we're going to win here. We might lose a frigate, you know, because the way the AI does the auto-resolve. It only looked like we took a little bit of damage. Our cruiser, for some reason, took damage. We know that wouldn't have been the case. I mean, we've simulated... I mean, we took command just uh, last time, and our cruiser was pretty much there taking all the fire of a starbase, and its shields were barely even touched. So this is just, you know, obviously... Uh, re you know, the results are very much different than what you would get if you actually commanded the battle yourself. All right. So it's... Uh, and the turn yet again. And what kind of planet is this? An arid planet. I mean, that might be worth taking, but at this point, I'm almost thinking just bombing out the rest of the uh, humans would be the right move. Because by the time we got troop transports and sent them all the way down there, we could probably bomb them out just fine. All right, so we got our research. We love the Legion. This is for I'm going to take on the Battleoids. Because I don't really use missile systems, so that doesn't really make sense. And over here. That we don't need. I don't feel like we need that tech. Okay, we could export production, but I don't... There aren't that many planets that we have where we... I mean, that many systems where we have more than one planet. All right, yeah, so that's just the export stuff, mostly. And we can do Gaia transformation on planets that allow for it. So I guess we'll go with this one. Got cloning center over here. So we can queue up some things. Okay. And we have a cloning center over here. And again, I guess we can queue up a few things. So we'll do Neutron Collider. Uh, soil Enrichment. And... And Space Elevator. And over on our home system, I guess we could start building uh, the battle station here. As well as over here. Should give us some more command points. As a matter of fact, we need to design a Titan class ship soon. Also, I have to choose production over here. All right, so they finished the pollution cleanup. Let's just go through. What do they need? They need a star base. And there's some of, like, the easier buildings that they don't have, like an automated factory and government support facility we definitely need. Biospheres, I guess. We even put this one ahead just so we don't have any striking going on. Okay. In any case, I think this is a good point to put a cut in the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.